all love of it. Welcome to another killer, killer episode of Groove Cartel. You know how we do, we bring in nothing but the best in terms of international acts. One of them is Vigro Deep. We've got him here. Let's just listen to what he's going to play for us today. Homie, away.
loyalties and securities and priorities ain't the same The harmony, it's the only thing I can say
So you heard him, this was my man Vagro Deep, he gave us a dope dope set. Let me just catch up a little bit with him. Let's hear what this man is all about. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. This is not strictly piano. Uh, I the three. So three genres, I would say four, but I'm a piano it's deep house. So um it's ki EDM, Afrotech. Yeah, and I'm a piano, so it combined with the other thing. So yeah, it's something it's something that I'm I'm, I'm working on right now because sure. I saw the market outside like in the UK or whatever, I was like watching my stats, like yeah, yeah even Spain is picking up, so sure. yeah, they need that like sound. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So speaking of, 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 of um, your international, let's just start locally. Yeah. I mean, for you to be able to create a jam that has a mix of more than one genre, I mean, yeah. it's EDM, it's Deep House. Yeah. What are your origins when it comes to music? Where does all of this start from? Uh, I, it's just music, dude. Yeah. I just do music for the love of music. Um, Corey, I've, I never thought or I would be like doing my piano and stuff like oh, that. Right. Like from the get go, I was sure. like, I want to make deep house. I want to ah, make, ah, you understand? Ah, sure, sure. So okay. yeah, but finally, uh, it was a trending thing. So I just did the thing, and yeah, boom. And then yeah, I'm finally, it's it's it's, it's boom, and then boom. You're in London. Boom, you're in Dublin. <laughs> What's going on? How did we get there? Because well, look, you've been in the game. Yeah. But for you to be able to push a very particular style of piano. Yeah. To then take it to overseas. Oh yeah. To yeah. an international crowd. Yeah. How how does that actually happen? What what did you do? I mean, was, um, is it a specific formula <laughs> that you followed? Or you just threw your lot and you're like, I <laughs> so, uh, with this, I'm a piano thing. Like, I never thought that I would go like internationally and stuff like that. Yeah. So, and I just kept on doing my things. I just kept on making more music. So, yeah, you know when you see bookings from outside, you like, yeah. how did it get here? Sure, yeah. sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so, so, yeah. so, yeah. so that's when you see, okay, people like the sound. So. Yeah. I have to make more of the sound. Sure, sure. Yeah, so that you get extra bookings, you get like, be all over and, and yeah. Sure, sure. A whole lot of things. Sure, sure. Speak a little bit, um, ka your rap career. <laughs> <laughs> because not a lot of people knew that that's the oh, yeah. direction that you initially wanted to go in. Oh yeah, So yeah. if you can just I maybe give us a little bit of a <laughs> highlight, you know, in terms of that move from doing hip hop, Oh yeah, rap yeah, yeah. to being Mr. International. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
um, with the rap thing, ah, it was just high school fever. Yeah. So, <laughs> I see, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, you know when you like do songs and then you're trying to like give it to your friends like, hey, listen to my new song. Sure, They'd be sure. like, ah, man, we jamming to my piano now. Oh, Hip hop, yeah. it's old stuff. So I was like, eh, hey. all right. So, um, one of the one of my friends in, yeah. in high school like gave me. Uh, um, a pack of, of, of Ama Piano songs. Like, okay. I think it was 70 songs. So it took me a day to change the genre that I'm doing now. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's so, on, like, more than the 70 I was like, oh, all right, let me just choose one that I like. Sure. So, that's how you can change into ah, a genre. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You just find something that you like and then you listen to it, you listen to it. Then the next day, it was me. Three Easy. Three. Yeah. I go to the here. Then there's Kista. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Hey, that thing did <laughs> crazy things, bro. It, it, would we say that's the track that put you nah. out there? It, well, nah. look, yeah, yeah. it's a big track. Yeah, Obviously, it's, 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 it's a big track. Let's yeah. just talk slightly about that track. Oh, yeah. I mean, what David are there in the mix? Yeah, yeah. Take us through that whole creation process um, and from inception, creating the track, to it being released, to yeah. then having David, that entire evolution, that track. Like, oh. All of Le Lahore, you know, to bring something like that to the world. Yeah. In such a short space of time in your music career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it was it was it was a lot. It was sure. a lot because um when I met Foka, it was that kind of thing of like, all right, Lee, let's try something out. Then yeah, we made an agreement of like doing two songs, you have one, I have one. Okay. So yeah, it was that thing. We're just in the studio sharing ideas yeah. and stuff like that. So we didn't think yeah. that the yeah. track might go far because sure. it was that thing of we were on a lockdown so yeah you see uh, uh, yeah. so yeah we just did that and boom it's, 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 it's on the top and there were no star i mean <laughs> anyway album number four yeah i um, in the thingy the Bad King, what's the boy oh, series? Oh, the Baby Boy. The Baby yeah, Boy yeah, series, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about the Baby Boy series. Oh. One number four of it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. let's talk about that. I mean, better this sequel when it comes to <laughs> the album. I mean, yeah. What, what what's going on there? Um, actually, when it comes to like ah uh, the sound, Baby Boy. Boy yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just took that name from 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 school. So yeah. they were like, yeah, you look like. Aries, you look like you understand because oh, okay, okay. I was a rapper, so okay, okay. I was like, All right, cool. So, since everyone is calling me Baby Boy, let me just use this thing. So, each and every album I did there, I, I was trying to like direct people to where I'm going. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's why my sound you can never compare it to someone else. Ah. You'd be like, Okay, there's Biogro, there's this, there's, there's, ah. you understand? Ah. So, that um, I know when it comes to sound, they'd be like, Oh. Yeah, we understand this, but we want to move with this. Oh, so, yeah. actually, I've been a, a, a trendsetter because I started this thing. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, <laughs> it was that thing of like, all right, cool, stop focusing on one thing, just go to another thing. Yeah. You understand? Because sure. right now they're just doing that style and then it's like it's getting boring. Yeah. yeah. For sure. So, I was like, all right, cool. Each and every album changing a sound. So that people understand it's, it's, it's music, we move. Sure. Yeah. So now that we've heard to you spend more of your time overseas than you are here at home, what's the next big thing? What are we waiting for? What are you dropping for us? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, you see the tracks that I just played today. So it's just a few. Um, I'm releasing an album on the 19th of November this month. So, um, yeah, they must expect a lot of things because it's, it's a whole lot of things. Sound has changed, sure. so yeah. If you're looking for that hot thing, so yeah, sure, it's in the album. No, I hear yeah, you. yeah. The, the so, name of the album yeah. is it's far away from home. Far away from yeah. home. Yeah. So at home, social media handles. How can they get access to? You? Oh yeah. Um, Instagram at vibrateep underscore za. Facebook vibrateep za. And then Twitter at vibrateep. Sure. So yeah. Ladies and gents, you heard him. This is uh, Mr. Vigro Deep. I'm Ash Mupedi. This is Group Cartel. We're signing out. Check you on the next one.